start today, we'd just like to thank the publishers and authors who made this story possible for you today in the story time. We encourage you to support them just as much as they're supporting us. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome to another story time here at Olds Municipal Library. My name is Josie and I'm here to read you a very special story. And it is all in celebration of Earth Day, which is on Wednesday. And I would love to see people celebrate by going in the backyard and seeing what's growing. I know it's just the beginning of the growing year, but look for things that are green and maybe even planting some plants, things, little flowers that bring back um, butterflies and bees. Today we are going to be reading Big Bear Hug and it is by Nicholas Oldland. There once was a bear so filled with love and happiness that whenever he roamed the forest and came across another living thing, he would give it a hug. Everywhere he wandered, the bear shared his love, hug by hug. He even hugged creatures that the bear has been known to eat. The bear would meet the roundest little rabbit and he would just stop, smile, and give him a great big hug. No animal was too big, not even moose, or too small or too smelly, or too scary to hug. But what the bear loved to hug the most was trees. And you can see that in that picture. He really loved to hug trees. The, ne uh, the bear never met tree a tree that he did not like. He liked big trees. He liked little trees. Apple trees and pear trees and peach trees, the bear hugged them all because he loved them so very much. One day, while the bear was trying to hug a beaver and a tree at the same time, he noticed a man with an ax walking into the forest. The bear followed the man until he stopped at one of the, uh, of the tallest oldest and most beautiful trees in the forest. The man spent so much time looking at the magnificent tree that the bear thought he must love trees too. But the bear, to the bear's horror, the man started to chop down the tree. For the first time in his life, the bear did not feel like hugging at all. And oh no, he looks pretty mad there. Then, just as he was about to sink his teeth into the man, the bear stopped. He realized that no matter how angry he was, he simply could not eat the man. It just wasn't in his nature. The bear sighed, and then he decided to do what he did best. He gave the man a hug. The man was not used to getting real big bear hugs. So once the bear let go, the man dropped his ax and ran far, far away. And do you know what the bear did next? Can you guys guess? That's right. He, the bear smiled and gave the tree a great big hug. And the tree felt better. He even had a little help from his little red bird friend. And the end. Thank you for joining us for another story time here at Olds Municipal Library, and I'll see you at the next one.